The Kamloops Blazers say they're expecting a tough series when the puck drops on the WHL Western Conference Championship on Friday at Sandman Center, a best of seven series that will see them take on the Seattle Thunderbirds. Uh, we're excited, just uh, looking forward to uh, playing another opponent here in round three and um, you know to start the series off at, off at home is exciting and uh, we know it's going to be a tough challenge. The Blazers won two of three regular season meetings with the Thunderbirds. The only Seattle win came on December 10th at Sandman Center when the Blazers were playing without Dylan Duran and Logan Stankoven, who were off with Team Canada for the World Juniors in Alberta. We're expecting you know, a real hard-fought series. They're, they're, a, they're, a, they're a team that plays hard, they battle, uh, real good structure, defend hard. It's, yeah, we expect a real physical series. The Blazers know that nothing comes easy in the postseason. Stan Coven says winning in the playoffs require more than just skill. Just a lot more desperation and uh, it's physical and uh, you got to be ready for anything out there. Um, you know, not everything is going to go your way. It's not going to be perfect. You know, the refs or uh, the ice conditions, the fans, uh, there's so many things out there that uh, can contribute to a game and how it plays out. Pace picks up a little bit, the intensity picks up a little bit and I think I, I strive in that. and. Uh, we're, we're, we're ready for round three. The Thunderbirds advanced to the conference final with a Game 7 win Tuesday in Portland. Prior to that, they dispatched the Colonial Rockets in five games in the first round of playoffs. The Blazers swept the Spokane Chiefs in round one before defeating the Vancouver Giants in six games. Games one and two of the series will be played at Sandman Center Friday and Saturday night before the series shifts to Showwear Center in Kent, Washington for games three and four. Sydney Chisholm, Castanet News, Kamloops.